Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Very nice. How are you? Excellent, excellent. Good weekend. I have good uh, activities, a lot of progress. So for me, it's good. Good weekend. How about you guys? What did you do this weekend? Relax weekend. I finish in Plataforma. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> Happy, yes. The finishing, no more stress, right, Joanna? Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. I am relaxed for, for, uh, for haber terminado. <laughs> yes, to have finished. That's excellent. Teacher, okay. today Thank celebrate. You. Finish yeah. class. <laughs> okay. Emma, did you finish the platform? Um, no, mm -hmm. in a two, um, two exercise. In the exam? Yes, two exercise in the exam, um, 80, 18 percent. Okay. 82 percent. Okay, okay. A little bit more, a little bit more. Almost, Emma. Por cada día veo que menos gente se conecta. Men, <laughs> principio. <laughs> All right, Roxana, how about you? Did you finish? Yes, teacher, but I one mistake in um, letter E test, letter mm -hmm. E number four. Ah, okay, okay. But one mistake is, is not a problem. Yes, 90. 90, um, 70? No. 97. Uh, mm, no. 90, 92. 92. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll see. Okay. And let's see. Anita, how about you? Did you finish the platform? Yes, teacher. I, I finished. Okay. And let's see who else. Ah, Alejandro, did you finish the platform? Hi, teacher. Hey, Alejandro. I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. I see. I see. Did you finish the platform, Alejandro? Eh, ¿Qué me preguntó? Did you finish the Hola? platform? Did you finish the platform? No lo escucho. <laughs> si lo completé, sí, sí. Pero... <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, no problem, no problem. All right, well, let's start off by reviewing the exam and answering any questions to make sure that the exam part was clear, all right? So that's the first part. Let's review and make sure that everything is clear and understands, okay? So part one, listen to the conversations and answer, okay? So let's read first, okay? Emma, please read number one. Beach party. No, no, go ahead. Uh -huh. Ah, what's the invitation? Mm -hmm. Beach party? I don't remember. No, 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 only read, Emma, only read. Ah, birthday party. Okay. Dinner in a restaurant. Okay. Go swimming. Right, good. Joanna, read number two. Okay. With excuse, uh, Amy and Terry are going to be there. He dined like going to the theater. He started work at 6 p.m. No. Okay, all right. And Nada, number three. Teacher is for Rita? It's for, yes, for Rita. That's right. That's right. Uh, in the okay, thank you. 
Okay. She doesn't like sports. She isn't feeling well. She needs to study no, no, no. for a test. But no, no. Rita here. Rita number three here. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Number basketball game. Yes. Okay. Only that? No, read it. Read it, Eneida. Ah, uh, dance performance, play. Dance performance. Okay, 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 no problem. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Now, thank you. And the last You're one, welcome. the last one, Reina. Um, she doesn't like sports. She isn't feeling well. She needs to study for a test. No. Okay. So we're going to listen and make sure that it's clear all of them. Tell me if there are words you don't understand or something, then we try. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Hello. Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's take a look then. Number one. What about Wes? Wes invitation? Beach party. Beach party. A beach party. Beach party. Okay. And Wes's excuse? She starts work at 6 p.m. Okay, he starts work at, two, at 6 p.m. Okay, what about Rita? What does she say? What was the invitation for Rita? Baseball game. To study for a test, dance performance. Okay, for dance performance. Okay, dance. Okay, and what about here? What? Why can't Rita go? She needs to study to for, for a test. Okay, she needs to study for a test. Let's take a look. Hey, you see? Very good. All of them are correct. Very good. Let's take a look now. Part B. Put the word in the correct order, okay? Ha, huh, what do you, and we need to put in the correct form. What could be number one to you? Tonight.
Uh-huh. Have you finished the platform? No problem. Come on, guys. Yes, I finished the platform. Okay, so let's see. What do you tonight? What do you plan to do tonight? Plan to do tonight. Okay. Plan. Okay. Okay, good. Letter B. I home. There's a soccer match on TV. I want to stay. I want to stay. I want to stay. Okay. Two. I want to stay. Okay. Okay. Let's see two. What are you and Dave tomorrow? Going to do tomorrow. Going to do tomorrow. Going to do. Going to do tomorrow. Huh? Porque es incorrecto poner ahí. Going to do tomorrow. Yo sé que está malo, pero más malo. Porque está malo going to do tomorrow. ¿Por qué está malo? No sé, a mí me lo toma malo. No, esa respuesta no me la da, nunca me la dio buena. Ya vamos a ver. Letter B, let's take a look. We like have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. We, we like would like. Have. Okay, we would like. To have. To have. To have. Okay. Here are three. What do you hope do after graduation? Hope to do. What do you have to do? Hope to do. After graduation. Okay. And then I love travel in Europe for a while. I grew low to travel in Travel. Love to travel. Okay. Travel. Love to travel. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would love. I would love. 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 Ah, yeah, yes. I, I forgot the love. Sorry. I would love. I would love. I love would love to. to travel. There we go. I would love to travel. ¿Quién dijo que going to do? Estaba malo. ¿Quién le agarraba malo? Aida. Aida. Sí, a mí no me lo tomo bueno. En la misma plataforma, creo que tal vez le pusiste doble espacio o tal vez letra mayúscula o algo o un punto para que no te lo tome bien. Intentalo otra vez y vas a ver. No, al final encontré la respuesta, pero creo que no es going to. Yo no lo pude poner como going to. ¿Y qué le pusiste entonces? Eh, lo puse de otra forma y me lo tomó bueno, pero no es esa respuesta. Ok. Creo que simplemente escribiste mal porque a lo demás... Ajá. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. But it's okay. Lo importante es que te lo haya tomado bueno. Tal vez lo pusiste de otra forma. Sí. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at letter C. Circle the word, okay? That means which word is the correct one? Number forest. One. Which forest. one? Forest. forest. Okay, okay. What about number forest. It is forest. Desert. Okay, remember desert. 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 Mm -hmm. Mountain. Number three. Mountain. 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 Good. All right. Here. Sure. Number ¿Puede one. Repetir, sorry. Puede repetir the pronunciation de, of mountain? It's forest. Um, Okay. Mountain. Forest, desert, desert. mountain. Oh, mountain. Okay, thank you. Mountain. You're welcome. Mountain. mountain. Okay. Number one, please. Tell, tell Mary. Tell Mary. Okay. 
Sunday. Good. Two, would you ask Bill? To bring. To bring, okay. To bring. Number three, could you? Tell. Could you tell? Let's check. Hey, you see? Everything correct. Any questions? No. No? Not to sure. It's okay. okay. All right, let's take a look. Part D. Part D is complete the sentence. We have to use would, will, I'd, or I'll. What you like to would. What would, okay? Okay, now what kind of potatoes would you like? Yeah. Will, will, would, I'd, or I'll? I'll. I'll. Mm. I copy this because if not, you always have problems with the I. All right, number three, anything to drink? Yes, please. Hide. Hide. Mm -hmm. Ew. The pronunciation, I'd. Remember, uh -huh. I'd. i mm -hmm. Anything else? No, that. Whoa. Would or will? Will. Would. Oh, like that. My man. Okay. All right. Don't worry. Be happy. Yeah. Let's try the next one. Okay. Which city is Buenos Aires? More crowded. More crowded. More crowded. More crowded. Okay. Don't worry. Is Disney World amusement park in the world? The, the most, most famous. famous. The most famous. The most famous. The most famous. The most famous. Three. What the is the longest? The longest. The longest. The longest. longest. Let's see. A ver cómo hicieron. Yeah, 15 out of 15. Okay. Any questions? No. No? No. Okay. Let's see. Complete the request, part E. Party, complete the request. Okay, the text on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell Karen that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. No? Okay. So let's try here. Ken, that's Ken that the test is on Thursday. So number one, the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell yes to para Ken. Can the test on the Thursday is at 1 p.m. Is this sentence right here, right? Can the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay. 1 PM. All right, what about number two? Meet me after class today. Would you ask? Alex. Alex, to meet me. To meet me. Ah, to after meet me. Class after class today. Today. It's a question. Okay. Alex, to meet me after class today. Okay, number three. There's a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell? Oh, is it fun? Marcus, that's 
first a volleyball game tonight. Yes. Uh, T-shirt. Oh, T-shirt. Yes. T-shirt. Yes. No, it that. No, it that. No that. No, no, no. Is Marcus? There is a volleyball. There is Marcus a volleyball that's... game no. tonight. No, Marcus, that's volleyball game tonight. Volleyball game tonight. Okay. Uh, but uh, there is is um is contractado. It's, uh, it's contract. That... Yes. This one you want contracted. Yes. And Marcus, that there. Is. Michelle, this is uh, I have mistake. Sí, teacher, le falta después de Marcos that. That, que dijeron que no. Yes or no? No, 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 no. no. Yes. No. Yes, teacher, yes, le teacher. falta. Al, al menos en mi plataforma Marcos. no lo lleva. ¿Puede ir o no puede ir? Solo lo que lleva es una... Um, de las dos maneras. Sino, sino de interrogación. Vale. Bueno, sí. And the yes. Yes. Okay, and the last one, number four. Come to the picnic Paola, on Saturday. Paola, Paola, come. Paola to come to the picnic on Saturday. Um, on Saturday. Picnic. Paola to come to the picnic on Saturday. 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 Okay. Let's see. Teacher, a mí no me salen bien. Yo pongo eso. No, Aida, no pones eso porque si no te saliera bien. Pero pues, tú eres tonto. Si no, no me lo pones bien. Aida, no pones eso. Algo pone mal porque si no te saliera bien. Teacher. Dígale lo que me dijo a mí, teacher, que se calme, la plataforma no se va a ir de ahí. Ajá. <risa> Ahorita que lo quiere buscar el error, no lo va a hallar, que se calme, ahí va a estar la plataforma, dígale. Sí. Ajá, Ida, vas a ver que si lo haces, te va a salir bien. Sí. Lo importante es que seguramente algo habías puesto de más, un... Por ejemplo, puede ser a veces un punto, signo de interrogación, un espacio adicional, diferentes cosas. Ok. Let's continue. Let's see. Ok, ok. Any questions here? No questions? Okay. Lo estamos viendo para que todos vean que sí está bien así. Sí está bien esta respuesta. Teacher, but, but I, I write uh, even, but I have mistake. The number three. Number three. Even, uh, yes, I same Aida. Even, even, I swipe. Okay. ¿Tienes ahí la plataforma? Yes. Yes, okay. Te voy a poner en el chat la misma respuesta que pusimos aquí. Copia y pegarla. Si es que te sale bien, es que algo escribiste mal. T-shirt. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank yes, you. Okay. Por, ¿Por qué en mi plataforma yo solo puse yes. Marcos, there is a volleyball game tonight? I, I didn't use the, that. Ok. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? The number three. Huh? The number three. Yes, ok. What, what is the question? 
Uh, mi respuesta igual está buena, solo que no use el that. Ajá, ¿cuál es la pregunta? What is the difference? Que usa that o no that. That no es necesario. Yes. That is not necessary. Ah, oh, ok. That is only for emphasis. Uh -huh. Ok. Aida, te voy a poner en silencio porque escuchamos todos los gríos y todo. Ok. Vaya. ¿Ya probaron la número 3? ¿Les funcionó en la plataforma? No me... Yes, teacher. Yes. ¿Sí te funcionó, Thank Roxana? You. Yes. Yeah, Thank you. You welcome, ya ve, algo, es, algo estaban escribiendo mal para que that, saliera. That, that, I, I don't buy that. Uh -huh. That's what it is. But don't worry, it's okay, it's in the platform. We can, we can try. Okay, now the last part. Let's see the last part. The read the article. Okay, and then we answer the questions about Hawaii. Let's read together. There, I think maybe we make a little bit bigger. Okay. Is that okay? Can you see that? Sí, teacher. Yep. Okay. okay, good, good. Oscar, please read the first paragraph. Okay. No, teacher. Ah, sorry. Yes, yes, what, uh-huh. Who wants? Okay, go ahead, Oscar. Okay, it say, everyone knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state? Yes, it's confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii the big island. Okay, good, very good. Remember the pronunciation is island, island. Okay, okay thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, good, okay, now, here we go. Sorry. Part two. The second paragraph. Okay. Edwin, yes. the second paragraph. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the 16 kind of the climate in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, and uh, alpine. Sometimes it even gets snow on top of its two biggest volcanoes. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Very good. Okay. Here, number three. O'Kelly, okay, can you read this third paragraph? Yes, yes. On the west side of the island, the weather in sunny Kiowa Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to about a hundred grades in the, in the winter and a hundred. No, it's hundred. No, 800. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 80, 87 grade in the summer. Mm -hmm. It only goes down to 64 in the grade in the winter and 69 grade in the summer. The Koala area, area in the north is the driest part of the Iceland with only about 10 inches for rain a year. Okay. Good, good. Remember that is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 87 degrees 
Fahrenheit, 64 degrees height and 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let's see. Aida, can you read the next one? Okay, teacher. On the east side, he will get around 140 inches for of rain per year. It is the water city in the United States. All that break makes for some amazing waterfall near Hilo. Okay, thank you. Very good. And Alejandro, you read the last part. Okay, no Alejandro, maybe. Okay. Oscar. Me, teacher. Okay. Hello. Yes. Teacher, can you hear me? No, no. Yes, Aida, we could hear you, but now we, we put you on mute. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Hello, hello, teacher. Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay, read. On the, on the east side, it still gets around 140. No, no, that's in, in Ada, uh, uh, already read that one, the last part. Oh, where are temperature, temperatures are coldest in February and warmest is September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba, mm -hmm. scuba diving, and wonderful fishing years round that make the big island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. Good. Remember the pronunciation is big island, island. Big island. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So now we have a lot of information from it, right? From the story. Okay. The big island from Hawaii. Let's see. Okay. So what is Hawaii? That's, that's uh, right. state, 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 state. In a island, island, island. Remember, a state and an island. 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 Arctic. 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 Okay. How hot does it get in Kalua Kona in the winter? 80. 80. In the winter? 80. 89. 69. 69. 69. No, no, 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. Yes, 80. Okay. Here's their clue. Okay, we see. We'll check in one moment. 80. Let's try it. Let's see. Okay. Four. Where does it rain the most? In the east. 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 Okay. Hey, perfect. All of those were correct. All right, any questions for any of these? No, yeah. it's a little uh, a little e teacher. I don't understand. Where I don't understand why it's eighty. 
Little E. No, no, it's the exercise. It's all your exercise. Yes, yes, but the, the question is why it's 80. So let me show. Okay. The reason it's 80 is because here he says. Pero tengo hambre, hijo. Lua Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to 80 degrees in the winter. 80 in the winter and 87 in the summer. Let's see here. And the question is okay, how hot. Thanks. The question is not how cold, it's for how hot does it get in the winter. That's why it's 80. Yes, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, and letter E, what happened in letter E? I what don't understand. No entiendo qué es lo que vamos a hacer, la verdad no le entiendo. Okay, es como el ejemplo. Si tenés una recepcionista, una secretaria, no le puedes dejar el mensaje a la persona que quiere. Tienes que dejar el mensaje con la recepcionista para que se lo dé a la persona. Y eso es lo que practicamos en esta parte de la unidad. Decirle, diciéndole a alguien para darle el mensaje. Entonces el mensaje es, the test is on Thursday at 1 p.m. Pero como no le puedes decir a la persona, le tienes que decir a la recepcionista, secretaria o la otra persona que está tomando el apunte y le decís, please tell, en este caso, Ken, Please tell Ken, ¿y qué información le va a decir a Ken? That the test is on Thursday at 1 p.m. Ah. ah, ok, ok, I understand, thank you. Ok, you're welcome, you're welcome. Ok. Any other questions, any part, that it, any part that's not clear? It's okay. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good. Very nice. Bye. Okay, entonces, ¿quién falta terminar la plataforma todavía? ¿Todavía faltan? ¿O ya casi todos terminaron? Yo falto, estoy haciéndolo ahorita. <laughs> Me llega. Uh, I'll finish. You finish. Yes. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Yo, I'm finished, but I have that mistake. Pero ya me di por vencida porque realmente ya lo escribí de todas formas y, es, y lo escribo bien. Pero como usted dice, un punto, una coma, una letra, pero lo escribí de mil formas hasta mal escrito, bien escrito y me doy por vencida porque no más me lo pone mal. ¿Por qué te lo pone mal? La plataforma y lo hace refresh y lo vuelve a intentar. Uh -huh. Okay. But to sleep and come back. <laughs> sí, muchas veces eso es también. It's, it's true, it's true. Es que yes. uno, uno está muy cerca de la situación, no, no, no identifica cuál es el error que le está viendo. Yes, sure. It's true. Ok. ¿Cuáles son los ejercicios que tanto te da problemas? Porque aquí lo hicimos todo y creo que ahí todos nos salieron bien. Sí, son los ejercicios 3 y 4 del antepenúltimo, el Marcus, y el otro. Lo he escrito bien, mal, de todas formas, con DAT, sin DAT, sí. con mayúsculas, de todo, y no me salió bien. Espérame. Vamos a ver para estar seguro que estamos hablando de la misma, de esta misma, de la E. El penúltimo. Sí, lo, el penúltimo y el último, los dos. Si usted revisara mi plataforma y ve todas las opciones que he escrito, los he escrito bien, los he escrito mal, siempre con la y, misma respuesta. Y, y, del no ¿Y del penúltimo cuál? El de Marcos. El Marcos. De, el de Marcos, ya, pero ese ya lo pusimos el en el chat. Total. Sí, por eso, y lo escribo, y lo escribo, y lo vuelvo a escribir, no me da. Lo copiar siento, ¿no? y pegarlo para eso te lo puse en el chat para que lo copies y lo pegues no para que Ay, lo estés escribiendo 
Uh -huh. No es para que lo estés escribiendo, para eso te lo puse en el chat, para que veas que si lo copias, algo y te sale bien, algo escribiste mal. El 4. Okay. Okay. Vaya, ese es el 3 y el 4. ¿Cuál otro era? Eh, son estos dos. El número 4, son de Marcus y de Paula. Yes. Vaya, hacerlo, vamos a ver. Okay. A ver, a ver, se lo ha ido. Ok. ¿Anybody else? Fisher, can you remind me the number two again, please? Number two for what? In the letter E. Number two, letter E. Let's look. One more time. Let me help. You. Let's see. The last part in the sentence. Mm -hmm. This one, Alex. Yeah. Yes. It's with a question mark. After class today. Okay, okay I got it. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anyone else? The others are okay? Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. Bye. Al fin. El que todavía no lo ha terminado la plataforma, acuérdense que ya mañana, último día, ya lo tenían. Que... Sure. Yes, Emma. Eh, Podría poner D, complement the sentence. Okay, let's look. Letter D. Okay. El otro. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No me sale. No me sale. No me sale. Teacher, no. Eh, los, el 2 y el 3 del, del literal I. A ver, 2 y 3 del I. Yo vi que ya lo puse incluso ahí en el, en el chat, pero he estado viendo. No, no sé qué es lo que he puesto mal. ¿Ah? Alex, to me. Yo he puesto Alex to meet, Alex to meet, uh, Alex to meet me after, after class day. Solo eso con el punto. The question mark. Huh? Yeah, it's question. It's question mark. Yes, it's question. Uh, okay. Aida, ¿qué iba a decir? Yes, yeah, correct. The question is yeah. it, number three question. question. Ahí está en el chat. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, but number three is a question. Number three is a question. Okay, now it's okay. We oh, see, yeah, para todos está bien. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, okay. Bye. Okay. Woo. Difficult to finish the platform. Okay. But remember, the most important is that you learn. The most important is that you learn something from it. Que el punto, que la pregunta, que el signo, okay. Sí, es importante, claro, porque no se puede escribir sin, eh, sin puntuación, pero eso no significa que no se puede comunicar en inglés. Ok, so remember, we try it. Ok, good. 
So now we're going to talk with our partners. We're going to make groups with our partners and we're going to answer some questions. Okay. Here, I'll put the questions in the chat. Teacher. Yes. Thank you, but I give up. I have a 97%. I think it's enough, but I can do it. Doesn't work. Okay, but thank you. It's okay. Uh, no problem, Aida. <laughs> Algo es que no está copiando, o sea, solo es de copiar y pegarlo. Así que, okay, no problem. Don't worry. Okay. So we're going to talk to our partners. Oops, sorry, what was? Sorry, no what's. Mm -hmm. What was? Most difficult part, okay? What was the most difficult part of the course, right? The second question, okay. How did you overcome it? What tips do you have for the next person? So we have three questions, right? What was the most difficult part of the course? Do you understand the question? No, no la pregunta no la entendieron. Yes, teacher. For me, for me either, neither. Question number two. That is the activity for the group. That's the activity for the group, yes. And question number two, do you understand? How did you overcome it? No? Entendieron la pregunta número dos? No, I don't know what the meaning of overcoming. Ah, okay, okay. How did you overcome it? ¿Cómo lo, cómo lo superaron? ¿Cómo lo superaron? Exacto. What was the most difficult part? ¿Cuál fue la número uno? ¿Cuál fue lo más difícil? Y las dos. ¿Cómo lo superaron? And number three. What tips do you have for the next group? Sorry, what tips do you have for the next group? Okay. ¿Qué tips le pueden dar al siguiente? Que si toma este, ¿qué, otro, ¿Qué tips o cosas le podría hacer al siguiente persona más fácil o le podría ayudar para poder lograr finalizar este curso bien? ¿Ok? With our partners. Ok. Ok. Let's see. We have with our partners.
study future tense. Please pay attention to the... Hi, ready to start? This demo will study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Follow when making an affirmative statement. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to with present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box.
Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. Okay, so let's see. For you, what was the most difficult part of the course? The most difficult. My the time. Is speaking, teacher. The speaking, Rosa. Okay. Yes. Okay. Me vienen las palabras, las sé armar, pero al momento de hablar, uy, los nervios me, me quedo que solo. Oh my God. Okay. No problem, no problem. It's okay. All right. Teacher, in my case, I, I don't, I understand and listening speak, speak, but I don't respond in English. I don't, I don't have a more, uh, I don't have a more time with my work. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think in my case, um, it's a not comfortable. No confidence. Mm -hmm. Confidence in myself. Okay. okay. Because I'm other person is a speak better English. Okay. Okay. Did you speak a lot, Emma? Hmm? And thank you for because you speak more English than the other teacher. He, that is good for us because you because we learn more. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Aida. You're welcome. And what tips can you give the other group? What tips can you give another group? I do not speak Spanish. Right? Not speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I like when you when you give us the job to looking for the history because we need more words and we practice uh, to speak. That's um, we need more conversation. I think so. Okay. okay. Have more time to practice. In the yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah. More time. Okay. In that that complete uh, platform before, sure. before the class. Mm -hmm. You watch um, TV in English. Okay, good. Watch TV sure. in English. Complete the platform. Yes, so Kelly. Uh, a tip of um, for the next group for me is lose grief. To lose what, Okelly? Okay? To lose grief. Pena, what is perder. Grief. Que es grief, Okelly? Okay? Pena, perder la pena. Lose grief. Ah, okay. But no, grief no es pena, Okelly. Okay? It's lose shyness. And the most important, I think, so to me, is uh, I need to learn to speak Spanish because if you know, I can speak English. Sometimes I, I can answer because I don't understand the Spanish and I can translate. My translate is... Okay. okay, all right. Well, tomorrow we have class. Remember, tomorrow we have our last class. But tomorrow the idea is I speaking, right? So tomorrow we're going to try and we're going to have the idea for speaking with our partners. Okay. All right, guys. Sure, do, you, do you know? Do you know when beginning the other course? No, no, no. Maybe in two weeks. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. I see you tomorrow. Okay, Bye. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.